afternoon. My name is Jennifer, Jenny Bear on Facebook, and I wanted to show you all how to make a planner totally on your iPad. We're going to use Vectornator, um, Procreate, and Keynotes. So if you have an iPad, you should have Keynotes. Vectornator is a free program, and Procreate is a paid program. A lot of you probably have, and if you don't, we'll figure some way around um, getting things done without it. I'm sure there's a way. It's, I have no plan, <laughs> so bear with me as we fumble through this. I just thought of it kind of yesterday or this morning, that since we're all probably home and don't have a whole lot to do, and a lot of people seem to ask all the time, how do I make a planner? How do I do this? Let's let's do this. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so earlier I did post a picture of things to think about when making a planner. You have a little bit of plan in place as you go. Um, and then I posted what I was going to do. And this is what I had filled out. So I'm going to be using these dimensions and colors and processes as to where the tabs are going to be and whatnot. Um, feel free to customize it as you follow along with me or um, do it right along with me using all of these things and then you'll know just how to do it and how to make it exactly how you want and not how I'm showing you. So here we're going to start in Vector Nader and it was that one that I breeze through so quickly. It's going to end up looking, not end up, but it's going to look something like that. And so I'm going to go to the plus up here and bring in my background photo. Um, mine is in my photo library and it's over here in recent. And it's literally a picture of my floor. Okay, so now we have our new document good practices to name everything. So I'm just going to say D P B digital planner for beginners planner. And oh, there's another one there. Okay. We do that. So now I brought it in and we want to customize the size to what's going to fit our iPad. There's a lot of different sizes and you can Google what a good, um, for your particular iPad or device, what the size will be. But for mine, I figured out that it was going to be, I'm gonna go up here and see this X. Don't hit the X, but right to the right of it is an arrow. And then here's the settings. And here we have the canvas size. So I'm going to put in 2732. It's a common one for the iPad Pro. And 1860 for the height. And we're using pixels. Make sure you have that. You don't want these others. And there we go and see this is not the right size now here this this is your layers if you're familiar with procreate and everything we're going to be working a lot with layers here's the floor i like the image and i'm just gonna bring it out to cover the whole thing tap outside of it to deselect and there we have our background it named floor this must have been an old one but let's call it background. This is literally my floor, a picture of my floor. Um, sorry about the ums. Next thing we want to do is let's bring our colors in so that when we're ready for all our colors, they're going to be ready. So go to this. It looks like a paintbrush over here. And you can go to the fill layer, which if you see, it brings up like a floating palette. So when you're done with it, it's there. So obviously I have it in here already, plus a white and a black I like to keep handy. Um, but say, well, we're gonna redo it on this bottom level. So we tap here and we can put in whatever we want. Nine, 
six C E B four. Oops, it's on gradient. See, gradient. Okay, so now it's on the regular. There. Now the yellow color is F F E E A D. This corally color is F F six F six nine and add it there and so on. You get the process. They're all there. Okay, so next thing we have to do is begin on our cover. So let's go up here to the layers here. And if you don't already have another layer, again, I'm probably in an older document, um, then you would add it with this icon. So let's get rid of it. So we're here and this one is to add a layer. And let's call this cover shape. Now the tools are over here and I'm going to select the rectangular tool. And then I'm just gonna make a shape. And now you see it's here in this rectangle. You can go up to here and make it any of the colors. I'm gonna keep it with that coral one. And that's the style. Then this next one is the arrange. And I really like this one because you can make things, just type in the exact size you want so you don't have to guess if it's centered. You don't have to guess if there's an equal margin. So I'm gonna come here to size and I already decided my cover size. I'm going to unclick constrain and I'm going to type in what I selected, which is 2532 by 1660. And if you don't remember what that was, that was 200 less than each dimension from the background size to the cover size. So that means since I have 200 pixels, I want 100 pix pixel border. So up here in the position, I'm going to put the X position at 100 and the Y position at 100. And don't worry about that. Tap off to deselect it and you have a nice even 100 pixel border around your cover page. Now, I like square corners on pages, but not on covers. So come back over here to the format. And remember how I said this color was a floating palette? Just take it down and you'll see a corner radius here. So I'm gonna put in, I don't know, 50. Uh, I did not have it selected. And let's see this. I don't know what I was doing there. So like Procreate, you can double tap. And see, look, I created something else there. And I'll show you exactly why, because look, I'm still on this. I need to be on this. Two fingers to get rid of that. Two fingers till it's gone. Okay. Three fingers, because I went too far. There, now it's back in there. I just have the rectangle. Select it. That's selected, not the shape. Again, back to the style and the corner radius, 50. And let's see how this looks. That's nice. I'll take 50. Actually, actually, maybe a little bit more. Make sure it's highlighted. Style, corner radius, 70. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so now we have a cover shape. Um, well, 
I thought we'd kind of skip the cover design because I think a lot of you either have something in mind or we can do that later. Let's get this thing working. Um, so next thing we need is, well, why don't we stop there and then I'll come back and we'll make the papers. We'll make the rings because I said, yes, we're gonna have some rings. It's much easier to make it without the rings. So those that do wanna include rings, I wanted to show how to make those, put them in, have the two pages, all that kind of jazz. Um, if you don't want rings, you just make the paper the whole width. Easy peasy. Um, so let's get that figured out, see if you can um, remotely follow me. Uh, I hope I hope to do better for y'all. But okay, that's getting started in Vectornator. Vectornator. I don't know why I have such a problem pronouncing that. Um, and then we'll come back next time we will do papers and rings. Bye for now.